What's up guys, it's Mr. Javid and today we're back on the Pokemon Showdown server and we're going to be using this Kurum team. It was half requested, half, um, you know, somebody actually just passed me. So the timing was just right and we'll get right into it uh, as we are facing apparently the best team builder. So let's see if he lives up to his reputation. Um, Rocks plus, depending on what the Victini, but immediately Rocks plus Kyurem, um, overwhelms. Dragapulse, problematic, but no deal. Figure it out. Um, Slow Bros Corporate, which is gonna be the guard against the Rhyperior and a potential Choice Scarf or Bandit Victini. Um, what's it called? Zapdos. Uh, he has the tool store on me. Cause I can't switch well into Lele, but um, mm, he has two Pokemon that can outspeed Kyurem. Obstagoon doesn't pick up any. Well, it picks up some KOs if it clicks the right move. And a weakened Ferrothorn means what for me? It means. I mean enough um, hmm okay so phase one is gonna be um, it, it varies what kind of Victini it is uh, it could be a special variant since he has Lele too I'd assume that's what the case is here um, to me if you're but I mean this is lighter so I was going to say, you know, a person would think through and say, okay, well, I could be Sass Drill, I could be Scarf. So instead of risking Vic, if you're slower, you would just, um, you just, um, well, no way he Thunderbolt. Yeah, you go Mandibuzz. Okay, so that that's good. That was a good sign, primarily because it, it, it displays that my opponent is thinking his stuff through. Um, a little awkward spot because you know now I have to deal with um, potential toxic, but U turns, which is why I was really I was reluctant about switching. I'd assume Pult may come in. Um, <coughs> Pharaoh makes some sense as well. Since I'm boots, I'd rather just allow him to go for a stealth rocks or whatever he has in store. Um, Let's get some, let's guarantee some value out of this turn. Um, CC's knockoff, me going for knockoff here is too big of a risk. I don't think you ever go to, yeah, I don't think you'd ever go to something that's not um, U-turns, yeah. Get the positional playback, makes sense. I don't think he's expecting me to be Spadef Drill though. I have no choice but to switch it in. This is a speed tie if he's not Scarf. So I'm surprised that he just confidently went to this as if he wins this. Uh, if it's Specs, because I mean Moonblast is pretty free here. Uh, he could risk the Focus Blast, but then you're risking, you're risking, um, Hitting the focus blast, winning the speed tie, and so he pivots back. Probably like in a situation of okay, well, I'm not sure what the situation is, meaning like I don't know if I'm faster than him. Um, so that's a good power whip, but right there, one it covers for the rapid spin, two it covers for any switch-ins, um, and I also just don't have anything for this Ferrothorn if it's Gyro Ball. Uh, it could be knock. And I don't have earthquake on this. I'm actually really Ferrothorn weak. I'd actually, I'd actually need to burn this. Um, mm. I'm about to play this game a little more aggressively than I anticipated. Ugh. Oh well. So he whips again. Um, and so here you see, or you pivot to right period. Um, if he does um, seed, so be it. Yeah, you definitely had to scout there. 
And so now it's a question of do you go? You probably mid ground Ferrothorn. Mm -hmm. It's a tough freeze right there. Though I was planning to stay in Gyroball, never KOs. Uh, that's a tough freeze, though. Ferrothorn, the biggest threat to my team gone. But it, it, the way he was playing, it was as if he's going to give me the Ferro. Because um, he switched to it comfortably. If the Victini isn't heavy duty boots, then it's going to get two it KO'd on switching, obviously, it outspeeds me. So, you know. He has the upper hand on that end, but um, it seems I'm going to have to be playing around with this spike. How much this does will tell me what kind of Lele he is as well. That's specs. So yeah, at that point, he was just like, fuck it, I'm going to play with the speed tie in mind. Okay. Um, Bulu, very dangerous. Uh, super, super problematic. In fact... That's just wood here, actually. That's just wood. Because if he goes to Polt, I get to see who gets terrain first, and I'll be faster. And then if he tries to go back, because Mag, I'm not going to get shit from the Mandibuzz, health-wise. And Horn Leech is a significant power drop, so this Lele might try to come back in and say, okay, well, since you're going to play that, I'm going to take him on from you. So, as I said, Buzz isn't going to lose. I'm not losing shit. I'm not gaining shit. And it doesn't show him anything. Uh, so, he may think that I'm banded. Because, you know, generally Wood Hammer is going to be a banded variant. So, the Victini doesn't have an item. I mean, it doesn't have heavy duty boots. Um, so, it's interesting. <coughs> Primarily because now. I, I mean. My thing is why I don't want to sack drag um, zap those is that Dragapult is still an issue. Like no matter what set it is, and you know, um, zap those can at least get off a one. It can take a potential Draco, but it can actually get off a strong hit, whereas the other ones die before they can hit it. Um, and so you know, common sense would say, okay, well he goes slow bro here. Uh, if he knocks slow bro out then he is mm, let's see so just be curious he's banded okay ugh pult's coming it's whatever though oh he goes lay blessings since he's banded v teeny <clears throat> I go back to Bulu and Woodhammer again he should leave this in now figuring okay well you know, he's clearly just a banded Bulu, right? There's no way Scarf, right? Um, but there's no way a Scarf Lele is killing my drill from 35%. I just need to position myself to where I can at least do something versus a DD variant. If he goes to Pult after this, I'm staying in the Wood Hammer. Um, a special variant is the only one that could kill me. And... A special variant is the only one that can kill me, and if he's a physical variant, then I have some hope with Zapdos. <clears throat> or I can force him into Phantom Forcing. Um, so he goes Hard Pult, which is great for us. So since he went Hard Pult, I'm not staying in. Because he's not even lefties. Okay, yeah, I'm not staying in. So I'm going to give up my Obstagoon here. <clears throat> Fire Blast makes sense. Um, fire Blast makes sense. If he knocks me out with Fire Blast, then he's definitely Spexed, which will allow Kyurem to come in and pick up another KO. Um, well, it won't. It won't. Victini will live. Yeah. Fire Blast there. He's probably Specs. It's a big miss. Generally, <clears throat> Dryer Pult doesn't run Fire Blast unless it's Specs. I don't know. That doesn't look super convincing. But Dragapult is mad weak. So Scald here. Yeah. Okay. So I was probably supposed to teleport there if I'm honest. <clears throat> but it is what it is. I don't die. Run this calc. 
I know I don't die. Because ideally I'd want to keep the... What's his face if I can? Tapu Lele. I really should have just... Um, I don't know why I thought the Lele was at like 20%. That must have been another game that I was playing, I remember. I pl this situation happened before. Uh, Moonblast does uh, 70 to 83. Mm -hmm. So I take another life. <clears throat> mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. So now he sees my scarf. It's a pretty big fire blast miss. Because I'm again, I'm assuming that he's choice specs. I could still win, you know, either way, but um, it mattered. It mattered. I'm surprised he opted for Victini. So is you turning here then? Um, if I would have run out of uh, then right period is Curum Fodder. Unless he's modest Polt and he's not confident. Well, let's find out, right? I mean, what's the downside of that? Um, Sack pole comes in pole versus pole pole versus zap those. I don't like that. Yeah, it's, it's zap those here. So he knocks me out. <clears throat> I get the para. Um, as obstacle gets to come in here. I'll knock into CC. Actually, I don't need the CC. A parting shot into Kurum prevents shadow ball locking if well actually I don't need to go cure him I could just party shot into slow bro knockoff did a ton but I don't think CC is killing though I probably could party shot into cure him yeah This isn't great though because now the pole gets to come in. What I should have done instead, because I needed to get a free kill there. I played around too much with Zapdos. I didn't think he'd ever V create. So I figured no matter what he did, Zapdos is alive. But I really don't like relying on Hurricane. But in, in hindsight, there is no. Because Pult is so high on health. He can technically go to it here with very little drawback. Uh, if he goes, oh, eh, eh. oh teleport. I misplayed there. I misplayed there. I forgot I have rocks up. Now I get a mod for sure. <clears throat> and then Dragapult has to lock itself into Draco to kill Kurum. Which is something you don't want. Uh, you could, you know, say, okay, I'll sack Victini. But, you know, no matter what, Dragapult has to lock itself into Draco. You want it to be able to... Well, there's nothing you can lock. You can't lock itself into Shadow Ball. You can't lock itself into Draco. So Victini dies. Um, Ice Beam here. But I played that sloppily, right? And the fact that you have to lock in a Draco means it's checkmate because, you know, I kill Rhyperior, get all my health back, and then you have to Fire Blast lock, and I have a full health slow, bro. So, um, unless he was bluffing the choice specs this whole time, that would be some big brain shit. So, um, Bulu gets the leech. And we'll find out if we were faster. I haven't seen Specs pull, but I've noticed um, the Specs drags are coming back into into play. Yeah, he's faster. I figured. Bulu is ass, man. 
and as we saw it literally did what 18 percent um so yeah but yeah um very solid game i played i played i'm happy with how i played around um victini and the lele those two could have been very problematic um those two could have been very problematic i don't my defensive core when your steel type is drill no matter what your your drill is not walling no fairies um especially not this one of the strongest i think the strongest is there a stronger fairy you know you mm, i don't think so um Hmm, this mag, you, mag is about the same strength, but you know, with psychic terrain, mag is not as dangerous as Lele as far as like getting one hit off. Uh, Galarian Slow Bro, my man, is an innovator, okay? Uh, very, very, um, very, very Kirim weak, and so I overwhelmed with Kirim. All I need to do is hit that T Tar one time, hit him with the one time, and I do so with rocks plus repeated full switches on Zabdos plus repeated switches in of the obstacle um bulu really good here really really good um so phase one mm, you never need extra gems uh crawdont phase one huh did not expect this considering how Kerem weak is this was this is not a Kerem counter you know um I technically wall this thing stab, but the thing is he doesn't have anything to switch in other than like Articuno. And so I'm just gonna attack it for this two at KO. Oh wow. Anybody else expected to burn there? Claim throw did 56. Iron head should knock it out from Come the fuck on, man! Ah, I hate this stupid fucking Pokemon. It gets so fucking lucky, dude. I completely forgot about Quick Draw, too. That sucks. I needed my drill there. Ah, who else can I blame but myself, right? Ah, that, that... Are you fucking serious, dude? How are you so fucking lucky, man? I guess I'll see why he uses it. Now that made this game so much harder for me. Imagine Drill here, bros. Look at his team in extra Drill. Like, he literally got a lot swept by Drill. But, I mean, it's for entertainment's purposes. You know how Pokemon does. It's like, yo, Jam, don't ever think you're going to just win games, buddy. Don't. Ah, he's flying. I'm just ch double checking the type in. Okay, my guy. Now Bulu just comes in and does what Bulu does. Uh, mm, Stone Edge? Obstagoon cannot be guarded against. Uh, even if you stone it, it is I. Uh, oh, okay, that's what we're doing. Luckily, I have a top of Bulu. I actually don't even need my slow, bro. I just know it boosts. I'd rather have. But he's going to attack this and then I just destroy him with Kirim, So. Um, my man. Close combat. Let's just hammer here, in case he has the uh, the very rare um, the very rare. Uh, what am I doing here? Vs into T spikes would be annoying, but so be it. Yeah, it's exactly what I didn't want. Boom, sand. Okay, actually help me with that. Let me take a little more off your cocoa. Oh, you're not going cocoa. Hmm. And so here, obviously, Bulu just comes in and does what it does. Do what it do. As we sack slow, bro. Yeah. Specs. Okay. Um. Man, you'll teleport here. You might live. Um. Hmm. Bull switch. Yeah, this seals the deal for sure. Jesus, that's doing a ton. But now. Let me run this calc here. 
it would make sense for him to not he's doing so much with me to me though um you you choice car top of coco um choice specs my man may have been thinking a little more long term than me uh obviously woodhammer kills horn leech gives me 27 back would never kills if Crawdont comes in, he can win if I take enough recoil. So I'm going to take 12. So I can't take more than 25% from Crawdont. Crawdont, OU, Swords Dance. Woodhammer is doing 31% recoil. Uh, Let's see where his mind's at. Yeah, I figured. That was the correct play on him if he was going to have a shot. I didn't want to horn. If he did, the, if he stayed in that time, I knew where his mind was at. I'd just go in and would hammer next time. Now, I wouldn't have guaranteed that I'd win, but um, it certainly would have brought it in within range. Now, it's guaranteed over because Coco cannot take Jolly. Um, Jolly Horn Leech. Is that forty seven percent recovered? Okay, top of Coco. Oh, you choice specs. Horn Leech does fifty to fifty nine. Still not amazing. How's that doing so little, man? Oh, okay. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, he's guaranteed dead. All I need to do is sack, um, cure him here. I'm like, why is that doing so little? The, you know, I remember his terrain. The reason I didn't go hard, Bulu, is to prevent him from getting any health back. Um, excellent. So that's game. He needed me to, to Woodhammer choke there. I've shown Woodhammer, but I never showed Horn Leech. So it made sense for him to do so. Um... Uh, I don't like how close this game was, GG. But, tis what it is. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm playing these end games really sloppily. Um, that's usually the case whenever I'm trying to make the, the featured mon do something. Because... It, honestly, most games, it might be better to just sack Kyurem or Obstagoon turn two. But that would defeat the purpose of the live. Who wants to see me win with Zapdos? Um, so I really, it, it puts me in a weird spot where I'm like, okay, how do I get Kyurem to do something? But should be doing something here because he can't guard against it. Like he literally loses a mind to Draco every single turn. So for that reason... I swear, if he leaves a Rillaboom or Cinderate, I mean Rillaboom or Zapdos, those are the only two things that can't, that Cinderace and Garchomp are the only two things that can guard against. So Slowbro um, countermeasures that. Garchomp seems like just a, because Zapdos beats the entire team with Garchomp burnt. So, yep. Okay. Um, this is Ladder, so he's 100% leaving this Garchomp and just to attack. Yup. Yup. Uh, even though I have a Bulu, right? Um, even though I have a whole ass Bulu just waiting. Let me see the roll on Chomp. Top of Bulu. Garchomp. Even though I got a whole ass Garchomp. Um, I mean, a whole ass Top of Bulu. Woodhammer does 74 to 87. So we good. Yeah, I got a whole ass bulu, just chilling. How? What is he gonna go for? He's helmet. 
Oh, sh that sucks. I lost my Bulu. That sucks. Uh, does suck. Chomp being gone does mean a lot for my Zapdos. It's really weak to it. I don't think he considered that. But I would have liked to have my Bulu. It doesn't have the, the best matchup, but it's, it's crafty for stuff like um, Cinderace, who, you know, you're locked into a move, a typing that's not gra um, fire. And you just come in with the young wood hammer. Um, let's see if you have heat wave, buddy. Either way, Kyurem destroys you. Let's see. Do you have heat wave? Okay. And he is, he crit me, that's why. I'm like, he's max special defense. Okay. So let's get a kill here. Um, he's like modest too. I don't think he has any HP. Yeah. So now we just click ice moves. Um, Zabdos beats everything else except his own. Um, and just in case he has the idea to defog, just in case it crosses his mind. Well, actually, he was faster than me, wasn't he? No, he wasn't. I'm timid. Just realized that. Not like it mattered. I mean, I'm Jolly Drill. I thought I was. Um, Jessica Cartana here. Um, cart could do something though. Game is not over. That cart goes real. It's a mistake. He shouldn't have forfeited. It must be Scarf Cart. If it's Scarf Cart, he didn't have a shot. But if Cart started doing the right things, if it started and I missed enough hurricanes, he could win. So we're gonna grab one more to round this one out. It's a shorter live today. Who, who was it? Chatot was like, you call this a short live? <laughs> yeah, because when I clicked find battle, it was supposed to be short. It was like right under 30 minutes. And then, uh, nah, shout out to my guys, Chatot. Been a, been a writer since Lord knows how long. Um, but, what's going on? What's going on? Can't find the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to end it. We're going to end it. We're actually going to have a shorter live today, meaning under 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. You know, just, just a fun little Kyurem team. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for liking. Peace.